This is an example of a magnetic field calculation, more specifically the magnetic field of long wires. A very long wire carries a current of 5 amperes in the plus z direction, out of the page. Another very long wire, 3 centimeters to the right of the first wire, carries a current of 10 amperes in the plus z direction. What is the net magnetic field, magnitude and direction, 2 centimeters above the first wire? Here is my diagram of the situation. I've sketched the two wires, the 5 amperes and the 10 amperes, 3 centimeters to the right of it, and I've sketched the magnetic fields due to the two wires. B5 is the magnetic field due to the 5 amperes, and in order to figure out its direction, I've placed my thumb along the current, and the fingers of my right hand wrapping around the wire showed me the direction of the magnetic field. For the 10 ampere wire, I've done the same thing. And remember, the magnetic field vector is tangent to the magnetic field line, and that means that it is perpendicular to the line that joins the wire 10 amperes to the point P. The magnetic field of an infinite wire is given by mu naught multiplied by I over 2 pi R, and I've also calculated the distance between the 10 ampere wire and the point P by using a Pythagorean theorem. So the square root of 2 centimeters squared plus 3 centimeters squared is 3.61 centimeters. Now to calculate the magnetic field of the 5 ampere wire, mu naught is 4 pi multiplied by 10 to the negative 7, multiply by the 5 amperes, and divide by 2 pi multiplied by 2 centimeters. Of course the pi's cancel, and 4 over 2 is simply 2. We get 50 microtesla. Writing that magnetic field as a vector, we get minus 50 times 10 to the negative 6 i hat tesla. The magnitude of the magnetic field of the 10 ampere wire is 4 pi 10 to the negative 7 multiplied by 10 amperes divided by 2 pi multiplied by 3.61 centimeters, and we get 55.4 microtesla. Now we need to figure out the direction, and we need to figure out the components of this magnetic field. In order to figure this out, I'm going to redraw the triangle, and my goal is going to be to try to find the angle alpha. The angle alpha is 90 degrees, because the magnetic field has to be at 90 degrees to the radius, if you remember. So 90 degrees minus the inverse tan of 3 over 2. Alpha is 33.7 degrees. As a side note, that makes the direction of the magnetic field of the 10 ampere wire at point P 270 degrees minus alpha. That's 236.4 degrees. I'm going to use alpha, the 33.7 degrees, in order to find the components of the magnetic field of the 10 ampere wire. The magnetic field is going to the left. So minus 55.4 times 10 to the negative 6 multiplied by sine of 33.7 is minus 30.7 times 10 to the negative 6 tesla. I used sine because the angle alpha is opposite to the x component of the magnetic field. The y component of the magnetic field is adjacent to the angle alpha. So the y component is minus 55.4 10 to the negative 6 cos of 33.7 degrees, and that is minus 46.1 times 10 to the negative 6 tesla. To find the net magnetic field, we add the two magnetic fields in the x direction, minus 50, minus 30.7 microtesla, to the only magnetic field in the y direction, minus 46.1 microtesla. We get negative 80.7 i hat minus 46.1 j hat microtesla. Now we need the magnitude and the direction. For the magnitude, we use a Pythagorean theorem, so square root of minus 80.7 squared plus minus 46.1 squared, if we do the calculation in microtesla, gives us 92.9 microtesla. 
Now to find the direction, I'm going to redraw my magnetic field vector 80.7 microtesla to the left and 46.1 microtesla down. The direction of the net vector is going to be given by 180 degrees plus the inverse tan of 46.1 over 80.7, which is 210 degrees. And here is the full page solution. Spread the joy of physics!